Hey guys, it's Monica, Busy Jimmy Mom. I am going to um, show you guys how I would change this normal, everyday look um, into a nighttime look or more bold, dramatic look if you want to go somewhere and be a little more sassy. So basically, what I have going on now is just, I've just worn some neutral browns on my eyelids or in my crease and then just a uh, lighter um, highlighted color on my lid and the same color here, the same color of my tear duct. Um, my liner from the day was double lined white and navy blue and then I just had some pinks here and of course the pink here. So what I'm going to do is kind of, I'm just going to keep everything I have on on and I'm just going to add and just kind of turn this into something a little bit more edgy. So the first thing that I do want to do is just put on a little bit of concealer and a little bit of a contour to make it more dramatic. So I'm going to contour first. I'm just going to use this brush and I've taken a pretty dark foundation that I used to use. It was way too dark for me. But um, this is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, and this used to be my favorite ever um, in tan, or dark caramel, excuse me. And it's just going to draw me a line. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. The thing I love about the whole contouring and highlight idea is the fact that you're just painting. Like, that's really all makeup is. It's just art on your face. That's what I try to explain to people to understand, like, my husband. Like, I just find this fun. I don't think that it's something I have to do or something that I have to have, but it's something that I find enjoyable to have around. So now that I have that, um, I'm going to go ahead and just do the side of my nose because I have a little extra product. And I don't like to waste product. And then, of course, what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of a stiffer brush and blend it in. I used the matte mousse because I was going to use the same brown I use, usually use the contour, which is a bronze, and it's uh, Mary Kay Time Wise, but it's extremely moisturizing, and I already have oil on my face from the makeup I've had on all day, but I'm not looking to add more oil and more shine. So my face is definitely warmed up. A little more contour going on. I didn't do this before, but there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and traumatize that a bit more. And instead of that, I'm going to use the bronzer for my support palette because like super dark. You are gonna see it. It's also got a lot of shimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and put that over my cheeks too.
And then what I'm going to do is brush on just a tiny bit of color on top of that. I'm really digging the brown and I want to keep the brown. But um, I'm just going to put a little bit of this. I bought this from Myers. It's just their M Studio, but it's a super light pearlescent pink. And I just really thought it was pretty. And I thought I would try it. So just going to get a little bit of it on. And just fan it. On top of what I already had on, I don't want something hugely dramatic um, as far as pop of color. Because I would like to focus on my eyes for that. Well, I'm in this area, I'm going to go ahead and do some lips. I already have a bright pink in my lips, but I want to make it a little bit lighter. So this is a Wet n Wild. This is my favorite color, and it's called Think Pink. And then something that you can do to help your lipstick stay, if you're planning on hanging out and stuff all night, is I'm actually going to take some translucent powder, put it on my lips. And keep it from being so juicy. Then they got translucent powders. If you get it anywhere else, just wipe it off. It'll be okay. And then I'm going to grab a tissue in black. And then add one more coat of the same color. And black. Still got some color on. Just a little bit. It was definitely not as bad as it would have been if I wouldn't have done that whole little procedure in the beginning. And it definitely doesn't feel as like wet and sticky and all that jazz. Okay, so moving on to the most important thing of the evening. It's going to be your eyes. And I actually did not do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to use pencil and do that. Here, eyebrows. Woo! That already dramatizes it quite a bit. So now for my eye, I'm just going to add on things. I already have brown in my um, kind of in my crease area. So what I have is a Rimmel palette, and this palette I found on clearance, and I was just overjoyed because it's beautiful. It's got light pink, super dark gray, and then it's got this really cool blue. Actually, this is more like a really, really, really dark blue, more like a navy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the navy. With a flat brush. get my 
my V shape going. You know, here and then here. I'm just going to kind of work that up. And over. Is that enough drama for y'all mama? That's enough for mine. Or at least for this mama. And I'm going to carry that color down. And this is all just off the same little pat that I just did. Cover up whatever you had under there before. I've heard some people feel like, say that they feel like they're going to look like a raccoon if they do this. You're not. And if you do or you feel like you could do... You can always take some makeup remover on a wipe or q-tip and just smudge away part of that line um, and put your concealer underneath and powder it so it doesn't let anything else fall. This baby is good for a blending brush. Now what I'm going to do is take, I'm going to fall, take my flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go ahead and get some pink on here. Put that on my lid. And here and I'm actually going to go over. Add a little shimmer. Just on the first third or so of that. And what about that cool blue? I'm gonna go ahead and use my fluffy brush and get some of that pigment on. I'm actually gonna come back to this outer corner. And just keep it out here. Don't worry if you don't get your angle right or whatever it is that you want to get in the corner and it starts looking crazy. We're going to clean it up.
And now what I'm going to do is clean up and then do a little bit of highlight. Alright, concealer, excuse me. Concealer and highlight. Anything out of my mother here that I don't like? And doing this, if you're cleaning up, you're obviously wiping off any concealer you might have had. On earlier, I didn't have on any concealer. I um just wore BB cream today. Okay, be careful not to get your eyebrow. Oops. So there's the one side. And don't be afraid to use your fingers to blend out or to soften. I love using fingers as long as they're clean. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Uh, I'm using Mary Kay makeup remover. It actually works really well. Formula is a little bit oily, but it takes it off right away. So yeah, I don't look like a raccoon, do I? Don't answer that if you don't have anything nice to say. Now, is there an easier way to do all this? I don't know, probably, but that's why I'm an amateur makeup artist. I do this because I love it, and I'm always trying to get better at it. It's fun. I love color. I'm a colorful person. Okay, gonna go for the black liner. What I'm digging around in is my I have a plastic storage container here, and the top one is all my makeup stuff. This is Wet and Wild, and it actually has sparkle in it, which I did not intend to have when I bought it. But it works. Doing the tails is always my favorite part of the eyeliner process. I spend a lot of time on the eyeliner process because I can never get the same thing on both eyes. And I think that's okay. I just want to get it relatively close. Now I've already got it pretty uh, intensified on the bottom. I always like to go over it with pencil. I've got 
be more organized. Can't find my stuff. Now if I had false lashes, which I am all out, I would go ahead and put those on. I will go ahead and go back and make sure that I find everything okay. I'm using the same all my color that I used in my last look because I like it. I'm going to take my concealer brush, dip into that, and I do a little highlight here too. On those cheeksies. Kabuki that. If I can find my Kabuki brush here. Take a step back. And let's finish out our look with just a little bit concealer, a little bit of concealer. And that's why I did this last. It's late at night. I waited until my kids went to bed so I could have some uninterrupted time. I'm using my True Match Concealer. from CoverGirl, mostly on my nose. I'm going to just do a quick sweep. Um, you can touch up your mascara or you can add false lashes. I didn't add any more mascara um, to my lashes because they're already pretty fried and dried at the end of the day. But if I was really going out, I probably would or put on some falsies. So, hope you guys like this look. Have a dramatic look from daytime to nighttime. Alright guys, have a great night. Busy dreaming mom. See you soon.